Hello guys, in this class we are going to discuss about the basic structures of eyeball and its inner contents. In the structures of eyeball, from, it consists of the three layers from outside to inside, the outermost protective layer which consists of the cornea in the anterior one sixth part and sclera on the posterior fifth sixth part. Cornea, cornea is avascular and transparent. Why? Because Though it is avascular, it has got the nutrient supply. The nutrient supply it gets from lacrimal secretion from the lacrimal glands, aqueous humor, and also from the loops of the capillaries of corneoscleral junction. And the middle layer is highly vascularized layer. It consists of three parts. It is also known as uveal tract. The three parts are at the posterior part, it consists of the choroid. Anterior to the choroid, there is a triangular muscular area which is known as ciliary muscles and anterior to the ciliary muscles, there is iris in which it is centrally perforated which is known as pupil. Here you can see the pupil, this is centrally perforated area of iris. This protection and nutrition is supplied mainly to the sensory layer that is retina. The innermost layer, the sensory layer is retina. It is also known as moving brain because it is developed. It is developed from the diencephalon. The retina has got the ten layers from the outside to inside, as are shown in the figure. The outermost pigmented layer, and inner to the pigmented layer, there is the layer of rods and cone cells. The rod cells are those cells which are sensitive to dim light, so it is responsible for scotopic vision. And these cone cells, these cone cells are color providing cell which are responsible for phototopic vision and inner to this layer of rods and cones there is external limiting membrane outer nuclear layer outer plexiform layer inner nuclear layer inner plexiform layer ganglionic cell layer and finally this gives rise to a knob fibers this knob fibers combines to form optic knob which is which lies in the posterior part of the retina and to the opposite to the entrance of this optic knob, there lies the optic discs. And we got the part of the retina, optic part, ciliary part and iridial part. This optic part is the posterior part, uh, anterior to which there is the expanding lines, wavy lines which is known as ora serrata. And there is a depression in the optic discs, which is known as physiological cup. In this optic disc, there is a depression centrally, which is known as physiological curve, which is devoid of the both Rorschen and cone cells. That's why it is, it is known as physiological blind spot. And 3 mm lateral to the optic disc, there is another depression, which is known as macula lutea. And central to this macula lutea, there is another depression, which is known as fovea centralis which consists of only of cone cells which are responsible for phototopic vision or color vision. Okay, here in the cornea, the cornea though cornea is avascular, it has got nerve supply. The nerve supply, it is rich in sensory nerve derived from ophthalmic nerve through long ciliary nerves. These are annular plexus at periphery, propial plexus at softensia propria, Subepithelial plexus says corneal epithelium and intraepithelial plexus which penetrates the epithelium. These are the nerve supply of the cornea. So now let us discuss about the muscles of the eyeball. It has got two types of muscles, voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles. Let's see in the figure here. The voluntary muscles are first superior uh, rectus muscle, inferior rectus muscle, lateral rectus muscles and middle rectus muscles. These are the four rectus muscles uh, and the oblique muscles that are two oblique muscles. These are superior oblique muscles and inferior oblique muscles. This I am going to show you in the dummy of the eyeball. Here we go. This is the dummy of the eyeball. It has got four rectus muscle, superior rectus muscle, inferior rectus muscle, middle rectus muscle and this is the lateral rectus muscle as I have already discussed in the figure. And this is the superior oblique muscle and this is the inferior oblique muscle. Okay. And now, also it has got 
another muscle that elevator palpebral superiors in the voluntary muscles and in the involuntary muscles there are superior tarsal muscles inferior tarsal muscles and orbitalis and now supply of this muscle as here is the pneumonix so4 the superior oblique muscle is supplied by number 4 cranial nerve that is trochlear nerve so4 and the lateral rectus muscle is supplied by the abducens nerve that is lr6 and the other muscles that is superior oblique, inferior oblique, inferior rectus, medial rectus supplies by the three, three can number three canal nerve that is oculomotor nerve. Now, in this figure, I am going to show you about the chambers or segments in the eyeball. Posteriorly, it has got the posterior segment which is also known as vitreous body. Inside it, there is a fluid which is known as vitreous humor, and this is the anterior segment which is extended from the cornea to the lens and it is divided into two part anterior part and posterior part by the iris which consists of the fluid known as aqueous humor okay and diameter let's talk about the diameter of the eyeball normally uh, the anterior posterior diameter transverse diameter and vertical diameter are equal which is equals to 24 millimeter that is in normal case in case of the soft side blindness or myopia the, there is elongation of eyeball so this diameter may increase up to the 29 millimeter in case of myopia anterior posterior, posterior diameter may get increase up to the 29 millimeter and in case of far side blindness that is hypermetropia there is a decrease in the size of the eyeball in which the anterior posterior diameter may be decreased up to the 20 millimeter let's discuss the internal structure let's see it let's take it off this is the in this dummy of the eyeball you can see here the two parts the vitreous body which consists of the vitreous humor and this is the anterior segment which consists of the aqueous humor and um, the aqueous humor consists aqueous humor this formation of the aqueous humor is by two process that is mainly 80% by the active process by the sodium potassium ATPS pump and 20% by the ultra filtration diffusion and here you can see the yellow color uh, optic nerve and also you can see the artery this is the artery the retina is supplied by the central artery which is the in artery and it has got uh, various branches such as superior temporal branch superior and inferior nasal branch inferior temporal branch and macular branch in our next video we will be discussing about the clinical anatomy of the eyeball and that's all for today thank you please do not forget to like and subscribe our channel